Oh yeah, what's up YouTube? Now, this is what I did in my last video, how to take part in a 22 long rifle bullet. So, Alright, today we're going to do a 22 long rifle bullet, but hollow point. Sort of the same bases, you need the same tools. Alright, first, you need two pliers, not sharp. Next, you need a surface like this piece of paper, and then you, put the, you can put the powder on. Alright, second, you need the bullet. <laughs> Not shot. You can see a hollow point, it has a hole in it. Okay, so. First, you're going to get one of the pliers. Yeah, pliers. And you're going to put you're gonna squeeze it around the rim, not too much though, because if you squeeze it too much, it will explode. Again, this is extremely da dangerous, and I do not recommend this, even though my video says how to. Second, you get the other pliers, and you squeeze the bullet part, not the shell. Repeat, not the shell, as demonstrated here. Now, you can walk, turn it left and right, and once you get really wobbly, you can pick, keep on turning it left or to the right. See? No, see? Here is the bullet. Not shot. Okay. Now, right here is the gunpowder. And the shell. Let's pour it on the paper. No, I'm not positive you can um shut it. Um well you guys can't see it, but hollow point gunpowder is actually darker than regular. The regular one has cut sort of like a silver touch to it. It's more shiny. Um let's see if I can Alright. You probably can't see it that good, but this one is a lot shinier than the hollow point rounds. It's really darker. Okay, so where am I show? Hollow point took it apart. So we went from this to that. Alright, 